Diana 34 EMS Lawrence of Arabia. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Finally, I am shooting videos for you again. I know there was a video last week, but on our end, uh, Dirk and I haven't seen us in four weeks due to uh, sickness, vacation and so on. And I think I haven't held a gun in my hand for four weeks. Um, now I'm super glad to be back in front of a camera again while showing you a great rifle. Today, I'm reviewing the Diana 34 EMS Lawrence of Arabia. You remember right, I made videos with the Diana 34 EMS already. One review for the 34 EMS in general, plus I uh, reviewed the 34 EMS Legion, a model with a green stock. If you don't remember, just search for Diana34 at ergandi.de slash en and you will find both articles. And at the same time, you can also read the latest article for the Lawrence of Arabia. Same as the Legion, the Lawrence of Arabia is a special edition of the 34 EMS. The Lawrence of Arabia is even limited to 500 pieces. Um, it's beautifully shown on the system. I have the number 447 of 500 and yeah, we'll take a close look at this today. Of course, I will shoot the gun. I uh, won't make a crony test and trigger test since the system is basically the same as you know from the review. Um, we'll just uh, take a look at what makes this version special. Especially number one is of course the beautiful sand colored stock. Uh, it is a synthetic stock and it differs from the others in its color. Um, what I think is really cool is the lasered uh, Lawrence of Arabia icon and as mentioned before, the unique number for each gun. The set also contains a Diana soft case and um, a box of Diabolos. As I said, it's limited to 500 pieces, so if you don't own a 34 EMS yet and you like the color, it's time to grab one fast. I hope when this video airs it is not too late and they're gone already. Right now while filming you can still buy it at my partner shop, Action Shop 24. Well, um, Diana 34 EMS is a gun platform, meaning the 34 EMS is built up on the old Diana 34 that has been around for decades. Um, what has changed is the two-piece cocking lever, which is now using a polymer synthetic, which lets it glide better for easier cocking. You will see later while I'm shooting the gun, especially the 7.5 joule version, uh, it can be cocked super easy, so you don't need a lot of muscles. Um, if you have a 34 EMS FAC version, caliber 4.5 up to 20 joules or caliber 5.5 up to 22 joule, uh, you will of course need stronger arms. <laughs> the EMS stands for Easy Modular System and means that you can change almost everything on this gun. You can remove the iron sights uh, and uh, exclusively use a scope. Um, there are parts to cover the holes if you do so. Uh, you can buy this at Action Shop 24. What you can see here already in use on the Lawrence of Arabia are uh, fiber optic iron sights. Um, which yeah, you can also put on other versions of 34 EMS or, and that's my personal favorite, a front side tunnel with a metal side. I just like that the most and you can also add that one later. You can also attach a 5.5 barrel. It's really cool on the 34 EMS. Honestly, if you buy this 500 piece limited edition, I wouldn't change the thing because at that point, it is not a special edition anymore. I, yeah, I just keep it as it is. What you could do is attaching a silencer uh, on this uh, half inch UNF thread. Um, Diana offers one. 
I have a Tony FL Koi here. That's the long one. You could also use a Tonto, a Fat Boy, or other silencers you have at home. Well, yeah, I think it makes the gun look even cooler. Now for some further technical details. The gun is a spring piston air rifle. Uh, you know Diana also uses the NTEC technology with air pressure cartridges. Um, and you can also retrofit these uh, and yeah, basically swap the spring for the cartridge. The trigger is a T06 trigger. I created a full article and video about this one. The trigger is adaptable in pre-travel, trigger pull and trigger weight. So it is fully adjustable. We have um, an automatic safety here, meaning you cock the gun. We'll look at that later. You fold it and the safety activates. You load the pellet, close the gun, push the safety in and you can take the shot. I think that's all about the theoretical topics. I talked about the most important technical things. Ah, forgot one thing. What I really like about the 34 EMS is that it has a milled 11 millimeter rail. Um, prism rails are often synthetic and mounted on top of the system. Yeah, tastes are different, but I prefer it milled into the metal as we can see it on this model. Now I talked enough. I grab myself a glass of water, take a sip, and then we'll take a few shots. Have fun. This is the shooting test. Um, most exciting part of my videos, I guess. <laughs> um, at least it's what the most fun to me, and I guess it would be the same for you. <laughs> okay, I have to check that everything is on camera when I'm folding it. While I'm sitting so close to the table, it might look a bit clunky. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. I try to control my air. Uh, when training with the gun earlier, I realized that I'm a bit shaky. Always mention your excuses beforehand so you don't disappoint. <laughs> um, jokes aside, I'm, I'm trying to get the best possible result. We are shooting 11 meter distance. Air gun is finest. Um, I'm using a Hawk Amex Compact 3 to 12 times 40 on a sports mesh uk mount to 54 c i think not sure right now but i'll note it in my article okay let's go Like I said before, folding uh, is smooth and easy. No, no slap needed, just opens up. Of course, initially you need a little force, but yeah, the folding goes without any force at all. Oh, shaking a bit. The safety can be released from both sides which makes sense for a left and right handed stock. The barrel is 49.5 centimeters long. The whole gun is 115 centimeters long and weighs 3.2 kilograms. So handling is really easy. Getting the hang of it. Here you can see the wedge lock. I 
um, that the gun is precise you could see in the last videos but it's uh, great to see that you get a new model and they all perform exactly the same The guns of the performance line, like this 34 EMS, are made in Germany, so they are manufactured right around the corner. And you can see for yourself what it delivers. The finest way, uh, 0 0.56 gram so a medium weight I often get a question how far you can shoot with a rifle well a 7.5 joule um, some say 25 meters is a distance where you can repeatedly shoot precisely um, yeah, I hit uh, shotgun shells over 50 meters with it. So um, indoors, or at least without wind, you can definitely shoot small spreads over 50 meters. Further than that, it gets really hard. I, I know there are videos uh, of people shooting over 100 meters, but if you want to shoot really precise like this, um, yeah, let's say 25 to 30 meters are manageable with 7.5 joule. I like shooting with a scope, even if there are iron sights on the gun. Um, it's uh, just easier to achieve a nice result and you need more training with iron sights. Well, I've got the feeling I'm hitting the same hole again and again. Let's make one or two more shots hoping that I don't ruin it. Better than in my training sessions, it's nice. <laughs> Normally it's the other way around and I fail as soon as the camera is rolling. Come on, a bit clunky while trying not to shoot the cameraman. They are hard to get. <laughs> that is a nice result. I did not ruin it with my last shot. Let's look at it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, the medium strength recoil is absolutely controllable. I did not train too much with the gun over the last days, maybe 100 to 120 shots. Um, after this short time, a really nice result. And like I said, shoot another 500 to 1000 shots and you can even half the spread. Really, really good. I think 12 to 13 millimeters. Okay, you saw me shooting. You saw the precision of the gun. Nothing new in the end. Um, I showed the precision in both the other videos already. But it's fun shooting this version of the gun again and I just wanted to show you how it performs in action. Well, um, same as for the other models, a recommendation from my side. If you don't own the regular version or the Legion already and you love this sand color, grab it. Uh, if you grab the set, you get the Diana soft case, including a lock and keys. I put it inside so I don't lose it. Um, it comes with a box of Diabolos. I can generally recommend the round pellets for it. Today I shot the air gun its finest and you saw the result, it looks really good. I bet after some training, maybe shooting the gun for half a year and become one with it, uh, you can optimize the result even further. Um, the gun needs to warm up. After 500 shots, you, you get a nice lead coating in the barrel and the whole system has settled and then you can squeeze even more out of the gun. 
I can recommend this gun to any blinker, I can recommend the gun to any casual and hobby shooter and of course to collectors who like to own special editions and of course to every Diana fan. For me this is a rifle in the lower to medium price section which should be in your mind when you are searching for your next gun. That's it for today. Um, visit ergandi.de slash en and follow the page so you don't miss any articles and videos. I hope you'll tune in again next week. Thanks for watching. Ciao, servus, says Ergandi.